Okay, so we've made it into the room. Now I'm going to give you a brief overview of the features of Collaborate. Um, I mean, I won't have time to go through everything, but at least hopefully I can get you up and running. So when you first log in, what you're going to see is a tutorial. First time, especially, the tutorial is going to open, and it would take you through getting Collaborate set up. So if you do need help, I'd recommend using it. But in our case, we're just going to close it by hitting the X, because we're going to go through that stuff in this video anyway. So if you, say, want to record your session, what you're going to do is go to the three lines at the top left here. You can see it says Session Menu. I click that, and what it does is has the Start Recording button. If I click that, it's going to give me a message saying it's being recorded, and you can even see that there's a red dot on top of a camera at the top left to let me know the recording is in progress. If I click into that, I can also stop the recording anytime I want, which in this case I do. But when you first log in the Collaborate Ultra, more than likely you're going to need to get your audio and video set up so you can actually communicate with your students. So what we're going to do is go to the bottom right here. You can see this purple icon with the two arrows. If I click that, it's going to open up the Collaborate menu. This is where you control everything. First default item is the chat, which we'll come back to later. What we want to do is actually find the My Settings, the sprocket on the far right. If you click that, that's where you're going to control things from. So we want to set up our camera and microphone, and you can see there's an actual button, set up your camera and microphone. I click that. You can see it's going to actually let you pick your microphone. Normally it's going to start as default, but if you have more than one device, you can pick from the list. In my case, I want to use a wireless headset. You can see the audio levels are rising and falling, so I know it's working. It's even really encouraging, tells you you sound great. And then if it is working, click yes, it's working. Then it's going to let you do the same with a mic or with your webcam. You can see I'm just using the inbuilt one. If you had more than one, you could pick them. Click again, yes, it's working. And now it's important to note that the camera and microphone are ready to use, but not yet up and running. You don't turn them on by doing this. You choose when you turn them on. In fact, it gives you that message right here. So let's say I do want to start using my audio. I'm going to click the microphone symbol right here in the very middle. So I click that, and what you're going to see is the audio levels are going to rise and fall as I stop talking. You can see that lets me know my audio is transmitting. So if a student says they can't hear me, I know it's something on their end. Uh, alternate, same thing with the webcam. If I want to start sharing, I would click it. It'll let me preview, give me a chance to make sure I'm ready to start sharing. And if I am, I click share, and you can see it shows up in the bottom left small. Your students are going to see you big, but for your purposes, you're going to see it small. Um, and I'm just going to turn that off for now. 